so for, for mobile phones we have um, we have three four templates actually we have four templates we used to have three uh, the first one is a one-shot news report where you have three shots and three sentences and there's 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 the it's the language of film what we're doing is teaching people the language of film so you've got the establishing shot which shows, sets the scene you've got the doing shot which is what is actually happening in the scene and then you've got a close-up or a detail which kind of you know tells you something in depth or gives you further information so um, and then you've got three sentences where and what's going on the, the doing the, the opening shot what's going on the doing shot and where you can find out more the detail a web address the name etc um, you know what's what, what what's actually happening there for example at rainbow if you were documenting the kitchen you would have a shot of the main circle you would pan over to the kitchen the doing shot the establishing shot rainbow a big circle the kitchen doing you would zoom in onto some people cutting some vegetables they make it's diy food making your statement would be a rainbow gathering slovakia 2012 at the date in this case normally you don't this kitchen came out of nowhere they built it themselves delicious food produced every day find out more at actually there is no web address for rainbow but you know you can put your own blog or whatever yeah, yeah and you, if you've written a blog post you could put that in yeah so that's just an example that's that's the first template second template is using still photographs so you don't even need a camera for the second template because you know anything happens in the world people put images up on the web and it's a template with um which actually uses a bit of corporate tool called animoto which is a thing which turns still images into video and does a really good job uh, so we've got a template, a and the templates are simply A4 sheets with cartoons taking you through how to do it. And the third template is full-on video making. It's how to make a short, edited, traditional news report and turn it round within four hours once you know what you're doing. From shooting, to editing, to distribution. Normally it would take three days to a week to do that. We're trying to train people to do it in four hours. It's possible, but it's actually quite hard. You kind of need to work on it for about three months before you can get up to that speed. So that's for people who are really serious about video. And then now we have a fourth template, um, which is a template which actually we're really impressed with, but we don't have the cartoon sheet yet because we lost our cartoonist. Um, so we have to do that. But it's a template on how to do interviews with a mobile phone. And it's based on the fact that actually there's a bodge so that you can actually plug an external microphone into a mobile phone. So, and the problem with mobile phones is the microphones that are built into them are crap and they have no range and they sound terrible so you can't actually interview someone with a mobile phone because you can't physically get the microphone close enough to them because the microphone is designed to be this far away from your mouth so when you hold it here and someone's standing there it doesn't it picks up what's going on next to you it doesn't pick up the person's voice so you end up with really bad quality unless you have an external plug-in microphone um, so we have this little cable costs about five pounds off the web allows you to plug in any normal microphone and then you can do interviews and it's a two-person report one person doing the camera work with again five shots you know to, to, to do, 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 do the editing in camera and one person doing the microphone backwards and forwards doing the interview and it's a nice template because you end up with a finished edited report and you can do 10 20 of them a day easily and distribute them which you can't do with normal video it's just impossible so you can cut, you can play the game of traditional journalists you can make news <laughs> with videos and you can do it you know it just takes a little adapter and a bit of training so we're trying to um, spread this around the world and train up teams and trying to get them to cooperate and support each other. Currently we have a team in, um, in Liverpool, I think we have some people in London and there's some in Bristol and there's kind of individuals scattered around. But it's, it's quite hard to get a group of people to work with each other. You know, I think the social side of things, that we've solved the technical and the skill side I think, I think we've solved that. The social side we're still struggling with. Um, so that's the four templates that we're actually doing currently. Mm -hmm. So could you uh, explain uh, which shots you're using in the fourth template? Okay, uh, the, like? the, the new one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so that, that uses the traditional shots. Um, it's two people doing an interview, so it's two people facing each other. And then the first, so, so, the, so the first shot is they face each other. The first shot, the interviewer turns to camera, turns their head, not their body. And they talk directly to camera. Blah, 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 from European Rainbow Gathering. I'm going to interview this really interesting person. Okay, the camera, they then turn to the person. The camera then either comes into a shot directly on that person, a close-up, or pulls back over their shoulder. Um, so let's just talk through these shots quickly. You've got the director camera shot. You've got the close-up on the person talking. You've got a rev 
you've got the close-up on the person asking the questions, you've got the pull-back for the double shot, which is the two talking to, to, to each other, which also interestingly brings a bit of background in, so it's quite a nice shot. And, but actually you, you miss the communication in the faces, so you don't want to hold it for too long. And then you've got another shot, which is kind of a combination shot, where you pull back over the interviewer's shoulder and just show the size of the head and the person they're talking to, which again shows more of the background. So what you do is you change these shots every five to ten seconds, depending on the flow of the conversation. You, know, you want to kind of cut when and in, in a meaningful place, i.e. when the person asks a question, you should be ready to move the camera and catch them, ask questions, then ready to move the camera back to ask the answer. But if you're not sure when they're going to finish, you simply pull back to the over-the-shoulder shot, because you've still got them in shot asking the question, or the double shot. So, you know, these five shots allow you to capture all the image and it's really important that you actually practice the shots you actually before you do the interview you actually do a little dance you this shot framing nice this shot framing nice come in here framing because you have to move your feet and it all has to be really smooth so it's like one person dances with the color of the camera and the other person does the microphone backwards and forwards and it works really well you can churn out films you know if you're in an event you could do 20 films it's easy it's just a piece of cake and you know after each film you just upload them directly from your mobile phone because that's an internet connection and it goes online directly 10 minutes after you've shot it. So you're faster than traditional media, way faster than traditional media. You're getting the, the news out hours before traditional media, if not days sometimes. So you know it's a real opportunity to, to make grassroots media not only interesting but relevant. And what it does compared to just normal people who just point cameras at people, it's got editing in it. And, and pointing a camera at someone is unnatural because actually the editing there is to mimic the movement of the human eye. The human eye, because when when we we don't stare fixedly at someone forever, this is just unnatural. This is wrong. It feels yeah. wrong. It looks wrong. It makes you don't believe what you're seeing. What we do is we actually we actually cut. I, I'm looking at you. I cut to look over there. I glance over there, and I, my eyes don't move over there. They jump. So it's a cut, so I cut with my eyes. I cut to that person, I cut to my tent, I cut to a wide shot to look what's going on, I look up at the sky. You know, if you were talking about something, I would cut to the, th I would cut to the thing you were talking about. And this is how the eye moves. So this is why video editing is so important because you don't believe it when there's a single static shot going on forever. It's unbelievable, thus you don't believe the person talking either. Um, in traditional filmmaking, um, what you do is you listen to what they say and then you, this is our third template, and you go and you kind of have a mental note of all the things they talk about, then when they finish you go and shoot all those things. Da 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 So I've talked about, to God knows what, you know, I was talking about the chest behind me, you know, you go and get a nice shot of the chest, I've talked about my tent, you get a shot of the, you get a shot of the sky, you get a shot of the forest, you get a shot of one, someone wandering by, and then in the editing, which takes forever, you would drop these in over the interview to provide the, the eye movements which are lacking from the single camera.